Okay, so I'm pretty excited to start stage two of the build for the Jade Ghost. Please excuse my glasses. They all lighten up here in a few moments. I uh, have transitions and I just walked to go pick up a package, which is the first thing that we're going to be putting on the Jade Ghost. So let's take a look and open up what we got. Okay, as you might be able to see from here, let's turn it this way. It is from Hogwarts. Not the Harry Potter, but Hogwarts for Harley Davidson parts. Um, before we open this package real quick, let me just tell you, um, I wanted to do as much as possible Harley Davidson made parts, but there are just a couple exceptions that we'll talk about each time that made me go with an outside source. The fairing was one of them when I went with Memphis Shades. The product that's in here is unique and Harley doesn't have something that has this type of styling. Um, so I went with Hogwarts here and I will probably go with Hogwarts, the uh, Chop Tour bag. And I'll go, when we get to that, um, we're gonna go over the whys and the hows at that time. But let's open this up. Here we go. These are going to be the custom side lights LEDs that are going to go on the forks underneath the fairing. Let's take a look at how it looks inside the box. Installation instructions. Awesome little sticker. Oh wow, these look like they are, ooh, and they have the right, oh shoot, I am so happy we've got the clips. The bolts that we will probably not use because we're gonna use the fairing bolts and then the actual units themselves. Oh, these are, these are gorgeous. Solid metal is what it feels like. I can see when you look at the inside, the LED strip on that corner there attachments uh, i think this is going to be good and they're identified what side to go on so this is the right this will be the left and that's it so this should actually be a really simple thing to put on the bike let's take a look here at the instructions real quick they seem pretty straightforward yep looks like they're going to connect to the connector that would normally go over to the, um, what are they called? The um, turn signals, the OEM turn signals. Perfect. We will continue this video um, as we install this. So I will see you guys in a few moments. Okay, so the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the fairing, the Memphis Shades Batwing fairing, and we're gonna place it on something nice and soft to protect it. Then comes what I really need to figure out once we get in there, and that is how to mount these on the same section that has the bolts that hold on the Memphis Shades um, quick release connectors. So I got to figure out the best way to do that. Let's do it together. Now these here are going to be the bolts that I have to figure out how to combine these with the light, what the best way is. 
So let's zoom in on these so you can get a better idea. And right here, this guy, and then down here, this guy is what we have to figure out. Are we gonna put the light here? Are we gonna put it underneath? Thereby pushing it out. So I'm gonna play with this for a few moments and you'll be able to see what we're doing. Okay, let's see here. Let's get the wrap off of here so we can see a little bit better what we're dealing with. Uh, this is machined so well. Okay. So here we go. See, there's a little bit of an indention here. Okay, let's see what we can figure out here. Okay, first thing I'm gonna to try to do is put the bracket on underneath these two holders. And we'll try it that way first. Okay. Now, I need to remove the wire and rechannel it through this exhaust area here by loosening up that screw. We'll bring this in just a little closer so you guys can see a little bit better. We'll take this guy out here. Okay, now we're tightening that back down just in case we need it in the future. And I want this to come out this way. Perfect. Now, let's put these guys back in on top of this and see how this goes. If they're gonna have sufficient reach. Yes, yes I am. Okay, good. Okay, so that's gonna be our connector. Now to do the top one. Now, with these Memphis Shades connectors, there is, in this setup, a washer, and I'm gonna take this extra washer out which I feel comfortable doing since this is a rubber mount here anyway. And that gives me a little bit more thread play or thread to bite in. Okay, nice and snug. I'm going to do the other side and then the moment of truth is trying to put the fairing back on, pulling those brackets apart just a little bit more to compensate for the width of this guy. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. Got both sides on now. Now I want to be able to connect these, but still keep the OEM lights functional because I'm going to put LEDs in here. Now, you may be kind of confused because the batwing fairing covers this, but I have a reason. When I take the batwing fairing off, I want the extra lighting. Um, I think it'd just be much more versatile that way. When the batwing fairing's on, I'll rely on these. When it's off, I have additional lighting. So now, moment of truth, let's try to put the batwing fairing on, make sure that I can fit it onto these guys. So let's give it a shot.
Hmm. Let me just see something here. Interesting. Very interesting. I'll explain in a moment what I'm doing. So far, so good. Okay, it's not going to go. Time for plan B. bracket on the inside and see how that does and in this case we're going to put that washer back on as well hey pickles hello my assistant we are working on the bike you want to come Here. watch Okay, let's see if this combination works. Hello, my assistant. You're my helper. I think this might be the winning combination. Here is what we're doing. On the Memphis shades, we're taking off the cone. We now have, and I'm gonna reverse the rubber grommet to the inside. I'm gonna put the washer here. That way our gap for the bracket still is wide enough for the bracket to go in and it's far enough out that it should click on just fine. Then we're gonna take one of these oil washers and we're gonna put it inside here. And we're gonna run our bolt through that. So, line that up, grab our bolt. <clears throat> Get through all those layers. See how this setup works. One, Daddy. Yes, you can have one, but don't mess around with it. Can you back up for me so I can get the screws you're standing on? Oh, baby, we don't don't put any tools on the bikes. We can't have any scratches, okay? So we gotta be super careful. 
Super duper careful. Don't no 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 no. Which one goes on first, Daddy? Hmm? Everything goes on first. Yeah, everything goes on on the in the right order, right? You always got to do it in the right order. Okay, come on over here. Let's see if we can't work on this side. I know. It is very green. It's like my dinosaur. Your dinosaur is green like Jade? Okay. Okay. Now it's time to try the fairing again. Now I'm not a big fan of the gap. But since my fairing mount is going to go in there, into there, should take care of it. Let's see. Yeah, watch out, baby. Ooh, that? That's the fairing. So it blocks the wind. It blocks the wind? Yep. It blocks the wind. Yep, it blocks the wind. That is exactly what blocks the wind. Okay, so what I found is if you loosen this up a little bit, hey baby, you showing them the sticker? Okay, watch out so they can see the bike, okay? Then with this loosened up a little bit here, then this will be able to connect over much, much easier. But I'm gonna have to loosen these to adjust the, the actual plastic fairing off because we're again running into that thing that we had when we originally put it on where it is binding right there. So let's adjust that. Okay, thank you. I need you to back up so your head's not blocking the camera, okay? I need you to give me a few minutes here. Here. Hey, guys. Ah, you turned it? You're so silly. You're so silly. I'm turning. Baby, back up now. Okay. Okay, let's see how this looks. This is our wiring connector. From the front, I think it looks pretty darn good. When these get connected and these light up here I think we're going to be in good shape on both sides and I still have my OEM lights there well folks uh, that didn't go as planned it turns out that it was a lot more work than I expected so we're going to continue into another day on this install let's see what the rest of it uh, looks like Okay, for this part of the video, this is what you're going to need. I'll show you each one of these up close in a few moments. Okay, what we're going to have to do is get into this wire right here. This is your left side um, turn signals. So let's 
get it off that bracket. We're gonna detach this here real quick. And then we're gonna tap into those three wires there. I'm gonna have to sh cut this back so we can have more access to these wires. So let's get started on the left side. Okay, so we're gonna start out by getting our razor blade. We're just gonna very carefully slice this cover back. So, actually, does this mean, how, how much is this case? Not much. Okay. Okay, first thing is we have this wire that is coming off our turn signal. We're gonna pull back, cut off the overwrought wire, and then strip down these three, the red, the black, and the yellow. Next, we're gonna attach three lengths of wire to lengthen these because it won't reach comfortably with the handlebars turning. For some reason, they're just not long, or they're not long enough. Okay, let's do this. Camera up. You're holding the camera up? Okay. So it don't fall. Eh? Are you moving it, baby? No, I'm not. I'm not. You're not moving the camera? Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> I just rocked at them. Okay, let me put this last piece on. Okay. Now that we got that, now we got to get to work on these guys here. I'm going to actually take it up just a little bit more if I can. Yeah. <coughs> Daddy? Yes, my love. Sersha. I love you. What are you doing? I'm just walking. Okay, so I'm gonna take the black wire first and we're gonna put in one of these splice connectors into the black wire on the other side. So we're gonna do this one first. <laughs> they can't see your face, just your hair. See, just your hair. Come on over here and say hi. <laughs> they still can't see you. Okay, watch out so I can do this. They need to be able to see what daddy's doing over here, babe. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know, baby. Okay, so we got that black wire in there, and then we're gonna put this one in here. What are these? That's the, to protect the wires. Okay, watch out, babe. Daddy. <sighs> An ant. Okay, watch out, baby. Okay, so now we have spliced in here and closed and clamped <laughs> in the black wire. Okay, so we have all of these splined. We have these, we're gonna clean it up in a moment, but let's take a look at this. See this hip here still works. Still got that going on good. Can you see? Oh, there you go. So this one up here still works, still got that going on good. And we got this guy here. Turn it on, perfect. Turn it off. Okay, now let's tackle the other side. That's gonna be a lot harder. Now the other side's gonna be a lot harder because this second bracket up here is for the right side. This goes up into the handlebar, so there's not a lot of room. So what I'm gonna have to do is unplug this and see if I can't pull it down around this stuff. And I'm gonna do the spline and black cables first, and then we'll run those over and connect them to the other side. This is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to put the camera down. So I will see you once I get this part done. Thanks. Okay, guys, there you go. I like it. It puts off quite a bit of light. When you throw the blinkers on, they go on there. And as you can see, my OEM are also working. I'm going to put LEDs in here. So there you go. One added benefit is when you're coming up from the side, people passing you can see the OEM ones a lot better than those front ones. But boy, that sure is sharp. I really like it. Okay, so just once again, Doing the, the left side, or sorry, the right side here. We had to disconnect it over on the right, or the left side, run it behind the light, pull it back through. I spliced everything here because I had more of the cable out. Then I had to run it back behind the light, go ahead and plug it back into the harness. And then I'm gonna grab some Connectors, or not connectors, but uh, zip ties and clean up the jungle of wire here. Tuck it up nice and neat and we'll be good to go. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, it was a lot more work than I expected to get those lights on. But that's the first item on the uh, stage two or part two of a four-part build. See you in the next video.